Welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate everybody joining in. Um, so today I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about um, some of the equipment that I really take with me uh, on my bike ride. So yeah, I mean it's been it's been a long road. Um, for past one year I've been pretty much recovering from my uh, radius bone and then the wrist surgery and everything. So uh, my bike fall was uh, uh, had a really tremendous impact on my life. So, so I'm, you know, I'm back now and I, you know, I want to be stronger than ever and I'm not the type to quit. So I want to get back on my bicycle and start riding again. So I'll take you guys through my statistics for my bicycle rides, uh, and kind of show you what the heart rates and the elevation and everything that I've been hitting. So it's going to be good for you guys to, you know, give me feedback on in the comment section below. Other than that, I mean, uh, I have a really, really good friend who does this on a pro level in New Jersey, and uh, he actually owns a massive bicycle shop and everything, and, and they represent their company out when he does his races and stuff. So he kind of got me into this uh, mountain biking stuff. So, so here I am in Texas now uh, doing the same thing. So first and foremost thing, of course, uh, in Texas, really sunny outside and uh, you know one of the things that matter the most is to not have any sort of sun hitting your eyes uh, where you end up you know not seeing the road properly or whatever so so important investment um, bicycle shades now you don't need those bicycle riding shades like Oakley expensive ones you could well these are Gucci so I mean I've had these for like 10 years and uh you know i use them for my rough use and just uh they've been holding up pretty well and um, the reason i like them is because um their lens is wide so a lot of times if i'm on gravel or anything it really blocks my eyes from from getting hurt and then you know i want to keep myself as far away from another surgery as possible so item number one is going to be your shades that you will be using uh, second thing I use without a doubt, um, it helps me keep in track of my progress and kind of motivates me when I look at it, how far I've gone and what's my heart rate and everything is a, is a smartwatch. Now this is a Garmin uh, Forerunner. Um, you don't have to get this one, but there are other ones that probably work and do the same thing as this one. So, so I personally like this one because I guess I'm used to it. I bought it like a few months back it's great um you know definitely check it out this is a garmin 4runner 45 um really cool watch but and it does um you know your heart rate heart level uh your inclines your pretty much everything uh, a good smart watch will do okay um of course um so in the beginning i wasn't sure if i want to go this route and wear my headphones while riding on the road because I want to be able to hear, um, you know, cars beeping at me or if I, you know, a truck's passing by, I want to be able to hear things approaching me, etc. But, you know, once I started going on rides, I, I felt like, you know, um, I, th I think I could pull this off, right? I mean, you just have to make sure that you use it in a safe manner. You know what you're doing. You you really have to depend on your eyes once your ears have these on. So, um, so tip number one is just to make sure that you have your eyes open completely if you are gonna wear some sort of device like that for music, sound, or whatever. Uh, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, which helps me. So this is my wireless um, PLT Sony uh, wireless headphones. These are awesome. Um, I love these. I've been through so many headphones, wireless ones, um, that I feel like these are by far the best ones I've ever bought. And what they cost me, I think about like $150. And I bought these about like five years ago. Now another tech, of course, without a doubt, I need is a cell phone. Now, without a cell phone, of course, it goes without saying um, that cell phones are required just in case you hurt yourself. You need a cell phone to reach out to 911, to your family members, or whatever else. Another very necessary thing um, I take with me on, uh, on the roads is a portable bicycle pump. So this one I picked up from Walmart for like 15 bucks. 
and um, it's it's all right. It does the job, but recently um, uh, the the reason I like it is because it's so portable, and I've been using this. <clears throat> I also have an electric one that I use for my car as well, um, but that one you have to plug in, so it's kind of not so portable. Um, but recently, um, <clears throat> I just bought this. Um, this wireless one so you pretty much charge it and you set the PSI's that you want on it and you connect and boom like within seconds you got your uh, air pumped in the bicycle so and uh, this is by what brand is this I will put brand of this in the description section below so if you guys want to buy this I believe I spent around 60 bucks on this and uh, it's really really useful and not only for bikes it's good for um, anything it's good for your car your inflatables your kids toys or whatever um, necessary but I think this is a great investment and the battery holds up pretty well so um, you know definitely without a doubt I think this is one of the necessary things um, my gear helmet, of course, I cannot go anywhere riding without wearing this. And sometimes I want to ride around the community with my hat on, and um, but I just think twice about that because you just don't know, you know, something might just come in front of you or you might hit a rock at nighttime or something. I wear this at all times, every time I'm riding, especially after my accident. I take this very, very seriously. Too much basic stuff, I'm sure. You, Whoever is a bike rider out there or a bicycle rider out there um, definitely knows and uh, probably has all this stuff, um, you know, through different brands and stuff. But these, these are the brands that I use and these are the equipment that I use for my bike rides and uh, it has really helped me throughout the way. Now, another thing I use is um, Finish Line One Step Cleaner and Lubricant. Um, you could probably use another brand or whatever, but this is pretty much what it does is it cleans and lubes your bicycle chain and I do this about maybe once or twice a week and uh, it just keeps everything uh, lubricated and of course uh, depends on how much you ride you might need to put this on even more um, for me I go about three to four days a week so you know and not too long a ride about 10 miles or something average so so yeah about once a week I put this on or every two weeks but yeah really good stuff so I think everybody should have one of these. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop the comments and let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to my channel once again and I'll see you guys in the next video.